video text. It combines the telephone, television, and computers to offer a broad array of information and services. At-home shopping and banking, the latest news and weather, health and household information, as well as education, sports, research, and entertainment. It even plays games, and it does 101 other things. But if all of this sounds like something out of the 25th century, it is not. It's here now. In fact, Viewtron started seven years ago right here in the Miami Herald building, the headquarters of Knight Ritter newspapers. Knight Ritter formed the team of engineers, editors, graphic experts, computer programmers, and other specialists that now comprise View Data Corporation of America, the creator of Viewtron. Some of the hundreds of sources providing information stored in Viewtron computers include the Associated Press, the Wall Street Journal, the Miami Herald, E.F. Hutton, American Express, other major financial services, retail establishments of all sizes, and more. AT&T developed the Scepter Video Text Terminal to unlock the Video Text Information Storehouse. As a result, Knight Ritter is inaugurating Viewtron service in the United States beginning right here in South Florida. One of the leaders responsible for the development of Viewtron is Albert J. Gillen. Viewtron has built into what we think are the answers to a lot of people's tastes. There'll be news, weather, sports, all kinds of information about restaurants. Uh, there'll be shopping information from the retailers throughout South Florida. Uh, there'll be banking information and also the ability to pay your bills, check your savings account, move, move money from checking to savings account. Encyclopedia will be in it. Consumer reports will be in it. The OAG, the airline schedules will be in it. There'll be educational features such as SAT scores. There'll be games. Well, all right, instead of let's talking about it, uh, why don't you show me? All right, for example, uh, let me show you how uh, one would use uh, his personal magazine by dialing my personal magazine. And on the screen would come with pressing one number, the top stories of uh, local impact, uh, which I would like to see each morning. With this push of another simple button, we now get uh, my mail. So whoever wanted to talk to me electronically over the last uh, 24 hours, uh, I can see who that is. And I can read my mail, write my mail, and ask questions of uh, whoever sent me a message. If I want to shop from my home, how do I go about doing that? Uh, for example, I have a granddaughter, and I'd like to buy her a toy for her birthday. So the way we do that is we'll put in six and send, which says shopping, and then we're going to get into the shopping category. So we see Galt Toys, and let's take a look and see what they have. And Galt Toys tells us that in the category of three to five years, and my granddaughter will be five, so that's the category I want, so I punch that in. Then the first thing I see is dolls. So we put an X under baby boy doll, we ask for an order blank, I type in my credit card number, my name, tells, I also state whether I want it picked up or delivered, and the transaction's all over. And that's how simple shopping at home is with Viewtron. So if you're tired of waiting in long lines at the bank, Viewtron offers a variety of services from an easy chair using the Scepter keypad. Getting up to the minute news or researching reference material is no problem either. You can gain access to the world of knowledge in encyclopedias without ever leaving your television set. If you choose not to fight the crowds at the shopping center or search for a parking space, no problem. Viewtron and Scepter will run your errands for you. It all adds up to more time to enjoy life and more life to enjoy. But just how does all this information work its way from Viewtron's computers to your TV set? Dr. Norman Morrison knows Viewtron inside and out. Somebody out in Dade, Broward, or Palm Beach County makes a request from their home, comes down the phone line, comes in through this board here, under the floor, into the computers there. The computers retrieve the information from these boxes here, then send it back out here and put it back on the phone lines. These are the boxes that hold the information. We have duplicate copies of everything to make sure that we don't lose the item in case one of these boxes should fail. How much information are we talking about? Oh, a conservative guess in each of these boxes we could hold uh, 300,000 pages. Looking at the number of boxes here, uh, quite easily hold two million pages or more. Is it possible for someone who has access to this information, is it possible for someone to get access to other computer banks? Sure. Uh, let me give you an example. An E.F. Hutton customer out in uh, Dade County wants to get access to his records in the middle of the night, even in the daytime. He sends in a request through the phone lines to our computers. 
Our computers establish a communication link to the E.F. Hutton computers in New York, retrieve the information, send it right back out to him. As you can see, that electronic wonder called Scepter is a highly sophisticated and extremely high technology item. You wouldn't expect to just buy it off the shelf and install it about as simply as you would a clock radio. Or would you? AT&T's Sam Berkman. The Scepter terminal will be marketed uh, at various distribution channels. Of course, the phone center stores, Burdines, other department stores, uh, computer and video stores. So let's talk about setting that sort of a thing up with your television. Does it take any special equipment, any special tools? No, it really doesn't. Uh, there are actually three connections. One is a 110 volt, where you, which you would plug in just like a lamp. The other is a TV antenna hookup, which is no different than hooking up a TV antenna to your TV set. And the third is plugging into a telephone modular jack. Okay. I'd like to break the system down if we could, and let's first take a look at the Scepter keypad itself. It's cordless, so where is it getting its power from? Okay, it is uh, powered by a 9-volt battery, which is changeable. Um, and the uh, transmission from the keypad to the control unit is uh, an infrared technology, which is a uh, higher frequency light wave. It's like a remote control for a television Absolutely, in that respect. Yes. Shopping from your living room, sending electronic messages, at home banking, access to almost endless information. Maybe it does sound like a futuristic dream, but then television sounded like a dream to most folks not all that terribly long ago. Like television, video techs will change our lives and the way we use our time, the way we educate ourselves, even the way we communicate. It's the wave of the future, but it's here and it's now.